so in last lecture we have seen the definition of fiber hinges for columns right and in that we actually use the approach where we first define the fiber hinge for a particular column and then assign it right and obviously the very first step would be to define the stress strain curve of those fibers or materials right so you have to define first the nonlinear materials and then define the fiber section that option is available in define section properties frame wall nonlinear hinges and then finally you have to assign that defined hinge to a particular column for which you have actually made that fiber section so now quickly see about the auto auto fiber option where the program actually divides the cross section for yourself so you don't need to populate that whole list of fibers right so currently we were here define section properties and then frame wall nonlinear hinges and in the, that if i go for a new property of concrete type and let me select the pm to m3 hinge so here there were two options one is default from frame section and other is user defined and when once you click user defined you have to fill that whole list of fibers and then you have to first select the cross section and then make each fiber one by one right so it can be a cumbersome lengthy process so program can do that automatically for you if you provide the reinforcement first uh, with the definition of cross section and then you will be using this first option so let me just quickly uh, define a cross section or just first uh, go for the frame section and some concrete column section let's say this one default one and let me modify that and let me see if there is some reinforcement already provided in that cross section or not so if you want to use that auto fiber approach you first have to come here and provide the actual amount of steel so here in this modify show rebar you have to fill that form with all the reinforcement information how much is the cover how much is the number of bars in three axes which means horizontal axis of the cross section and two axis is the vertical axis of cross section so you can see these are three and two axis and then uh, sometimes the corner bar is having a different dia compared to the inner bar so you can provide that and confinement bars so uh, the information about horizontal steel or transfer steel will also be provided here for that column right and the program will use that steel to modify the stress strain curve of uh, of your concrete right so if you select the manders model by default it is unconfined but then mander also provide then the equation and model for confined concrete confined with the transverse reinforcement or ties right so the amount of ties is an input in that material model so please get yourself familiar with some unconfined and confined material models or concrete models so they are uh, the empirical equations sometimes semi analytical sometime completely empirical uh, based on extensive testing proposed by different researchers and obviously they will be using some input from you to develop that curve non linear stress strain curve so mander have an unconfined concrete model and a confined concrete model and in the confined concrete model you require the amount of steel and the dia of transfer steel and everything as an input in that equation to plot the stress strain curve of uh, confined concrete right program can do that automatically if you provide here the information about the transfer steel so someone asked that how we account the Uh, effect of confinement or uh, lateral steel in fiber modeling it is this way it is implicitly accounted uh, and the confinement actually uh, is manifested as an improvement in the concrete model of uh, of the fiber right 
so let's say that this is the final steel which should be used for the purpose of fiber modeling right so you have to provide real numbers the final design values for steel and let's say i click okay so this is my final steel so this uh, confinement bars information will be used to modify the stress strain curve uh, the unconfined stress strain curve of manders model if you have selected manders uh, and it will convert it to into confined stress strain curve based on the amount of steel information which you have provided here right so let's say that i have already defined this final design steel and my column is ready to be actually modeled or drawn so let me first draw that column some sample column may be same cross section concrete call here concrete call and let me draw this particular column here so now uh, what i will do is that uh, i will define a fiber hinge but i will not make that list now so i will uh, i'll use that auto option so go to frame wall non linear hinges and then add new hinge concrete and again i'll go for that last option fiber pm to m3 and now this time i'm using default from frame section i click okay and let me call it as fh1 for example so now fh1 is defined but it doesn't have any list of fibers it doesn't have any cross section associated with that unlike the previous case right so i just click okay and now i can directly select that column go to assign frame and then hinges and then i can just simply select fh1 at 0 and fh1 at 1 right so now i have defined that uh, fiber hinge already at both ends but that hinge is auto hinge now it it is not user defined hinge so i can now come back and see that uh, define section properties and frame wall non linear hinges then fh1 actually i should first click on show generated properties so you can see c1 h1 and c1 h2 so let me modify this c1 h1 which is generated from fh1 so i click on modify and now i can click on modify show hinge property and define show fibers option is now available so here you can see that program have automatically developed or generated that table for us 29 fibers it created so from the material stress strain curve you can guess that Uh, each this fiber for example the first fiber particular fiber uh, is uh, a is a is a steel fiber because a steel material is given now ssc1 means the default stress strain curve the initial stress strain curve which was defined uh, with this a615 gr60 steel right this is the name of that concrete this is the location and now if i click on a particular fiber the red dot will highlight so this is showing the location of that fiber right so uh, i can click on second fiber it is another rebar third another rebar and you can also see that uh, i think i uh, by default uh, there were number 9 rebar so the area is 1 inch square for all so it shows that program developed one fiber per bar now from uh, uh, fiber number 13 onwards uh, they are concrete fibers right so this is the area this is the 2 and 3 axis uh, the location it is the extreme corner concrete fiber and it is given with a uh, with this concrete material ssc1 which means the first default uh, stress strain curve 4000 psi was the name of that material right so uh, let me now go back to material and show you the effect of confinement right so let me now go to materials quickly and show you the difference between confined and unconfined uh, stress strain curve so i go to 4000 psi modify that one and go to the non linear material data here you can see that by default manders curve is selected and if i go for show stress strain plot here uh, this is the curve and it is by default unconfined curve right 
because the frame section property is set to none if i select a particular frame section for a particular column section uh, it will take the lateral steel from the reinforcement of that cross section and will modify this to generate another curve which will be for confined concrete right it will be ssc2 in that case now i only have one default concrete model uh, cross section in my uh, list of cross sections so let me select that one so it actually did that that red color line is actually the confined stress strain curve generated using the manders equation right and then uh, the black color is actually which is uh, generated using uh, the unconfined manders stress strain curve right so you now can visualize for different cross sections what the confined stress strain curve would look like for a particular cross section right so then uh, you can go back to your uh, auto fiber uh, or that list of fibers table and try and you can modify uh, the material associated with different fibers there right so uh, let me just uh, click okay here 